Knockoff vs. Original, episode number 3. Hello everybody, it's me, a friendly porcupine, and on this episode, we are comparing the SWAT Humvee with the official Green Army Mega Bloks Mega Constructs Humvee. To start things off, this on the knockoff side is actually the best build that I have reviewed that the knockoffs have done. If you haven't watched that review, please do yourself a favor and check it out. I love that knockoff set too much, I even bought four of them because they were that good and that useful for exactly what I need. With all that out of the way, let's get started. First off, on the knockoff side, you only get two figures, while the original one actually gave you three. Of course, the original also had better figures. I mean, of course, this is mega. You know, it would suck if the original one had worse figures. Aye, aye, aye. It'll be the end of everything. But for the knockoff side, the figures that they do give you are still good. They're just the generic SDU ones, which you can already get from uh, the SDU Trooper Pack, which I've also reviewed. The wheels, once again, the same facade on the wheels for the knockoffs, unlike the original one. But you see, the original one also had that awesome texture with the rubber threads. That's a different texture they put in there. I really like that texture. But, however, on the knockoff one, they have a different silver color, which is also really nice. The prints, they're just as nice, just like Megas. However, the interior part didn't have as many prints as Megas. Also, Knockoffs did a decent job with the speckle. Not as good as Megas, but it's that black hot kind of speckle. And it's decent for what Knockoffs are able to do. At least it's not that genetic gray color that the uh, a lot of the modern sets were starting to do. The bumper, which is one of the biggest missed potentials this set had, they actually knocked off the correct bumper mold from the green Humvee, but placed it on the desert truck. You could have used it for this Humvee too, which would have just given me another reason to buy even more of these sets. So it was a shame that they did that. The top part of it, they actually used from the old desert Humvee and slapped it on there, painting it that color. Which also works, but just funny, it also just has a seal, a shield, rather than a cool gun or something like that on top of it, which to me just felt bleh. <laughs> However, the back trunk, this is the very awesome part. This is where knockoffs prove to me that they can actually design something decent. Even though they take inspiration from that mold, but they actually made it look awesome. It's like a square back end, making it look more like a SWAT hammer. I really loved it. Both systems, both the original and both the knockoff are good. They're just different. However, on the knockoff one, the door just felt a little eh, in comparison like to the mega one. The original one, which just feels a lot more polished up, higher quality, feels like the real thing, you know? But remember, what the knockoffs have done here, they have done so many things right. They knocked off so many things right and well. They got the super awesome door pieces. You can't get that shit anywhere else, especially you can't get this awesome green combi no more. It's been discontinued. So knockoffs are literally the only way to actually get this set. And plus, with the wind, with the door pieces, they're in a different awesome black hawk speckle color. Mega has never done that color before, so if you even want those doors, this is the only way to get it. Plus, however, the front window part, remember? That piece was knocked off well, done well, I freaking love it. However, however, how about the hood piece? That hood piece was really, really awesome, where it takes apart, you can see on the inside. They also knocked off that part well. They didn't give you, granted, the little rope pieces that connect to it, but is that really necessary? No, I think it also works just to find even without it. And of course, knockoffs also gave you the care package, just like they did in the original one. Now we get to the part of who actually won this versus battle. I'd say here it's pretty tight, even though Mega did so many things better. They even gave you a third figure, which should give you more value. But knockoffs just did something so unique. They make it a SWAT Humvee. Like if Mega did a SWAT Humvee too, then maybe I wouldn't be so nice on the knockoffs on this part. But it's like, damn it, they could have done something really awesome with that mold had they just continued. I know Mega, if they did something the knockoffs even attempted to do, they would have whooped their ass. So, I really should be giving the original a win for this, but I keep it tied because of that. And also knockoffs, they have the annoying boot trick and they gave you one less figure. So you know what, I really feel like the original one should win this one, but damn it, they did just something so good. It really is the best knockoff build that they have done. Like, out of all the knockoff builds I reviewed, this one is the best. It's wonderful! Don't forget to check out the reviews, where I go into far more, deeper, greater detail, actually comparing the two together, in that review, so it's like a cool little section. And of course, before I go, who do you think should actually win, since this episode is a tied one? Let me know which one you thought won. Other than that, my comrades, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and take care.